Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing two snowman DIYs and these are real easy DIYs. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the first one and it is going to be salt and pepper shakers. So I wanted to just go ahead and mention that uh, the products that I love to purchase are from the Dollar Tree store. Uh, with their pricing of everything is a dollar a piece, it's very budget friendly, and so I try to shop there as much as possible. Um, otherwise, I will shop at other places if I can't find the materials I need at Dollar Tree, but uh, my channel is all about doing DIYs on a budget. So uh, both of these DIYs you can find easily at Dollar Tree year round with no problem. So, uh, I wanted to bring these to y'all because you could use these during uh, the winter months and, uh, and I think they're so cute. So let me go ahead and show you what I have for the first project. Like I said, it's the salt and pepper shakers. So I picked up this set right here and uh, what we will do is we're going to chalk paint these and then we're gonna draw a face on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the package Go ahead and get started on painting them. And then we're gonna go ahead and sit those to the side and uh, we'll come back and complete the project after it's dry. And we'll go ahead and move on to the second one. So let me go ahead and take the lids off of these. And we are going to paint the outsides of these because I do wanna use them as a salt and pepper shaker. So I wouldn't want to do the inside because of uh, food in, inside the uh, jars there. So I am going to grab my paintbrush and I'm going to take some of the chalk paint here and I'm going to put it in my little paint palette. Let's see. All right, let me put this down for a second. I don't have a whole lot left in this container. So it's a little slow coming out of there. Let's see, let me see if I can help it. All right, let's set that over here. And I'm going, going to go ahead and put this upside down so it can try to run down the, uh, down to the bottom there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I have, um, well, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and clean these off real quick before we get started so they're nice and clean before we actually paint them. Okay, so now they're nice and clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to chalk paint them all along the outside here. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go all around the entire outside of the bottle. And the nice thing with chalk paint is that it does dry fairly quickly. So I may need to end up putting a second layer on there, but there is what I have. So let me go ahead with the second one here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set these two to the side. And let me move my paint palette over here. All right, so the next project, I still have some paint on my hands here. The next project is going to be snowman candle holders. Let me turn these around so you don't have to see the label there. But I picked up two of these and what I want to do is to draw a face on there for our snowman and then we're going to give him a scarf and a little bit of greenery. So I'll, let me show you how to do that. 
These are these DIYs are so simple, y'all, but they're so adorable. All right, so I'm gonna sit them over here, and I have uh, a sharpie here, black sharpie, along with a chalk marker, and then to draw the carrot nose. I am going to be using a orange chalk marker, but if you don't have this, you can use a, a, uh, a orange Sharpie. And then, let's see, what else do we have? I have some, uh, like I said, some, some greenery pieces here that we will be including along with, I have some pieces of fabric strips. These are about one inch strips and uh, they will go around the candle itself. And so that's gonna be our scarf. And I think that's all we need for this pro project. Yes, okay. So let me go ahead and uh, go ahead and start on the face. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw on my face and then I'll turn it around so you can see it good. All right, there are our eyes there. I'll set that down here for a minute and go ahead and start with uh, my nose. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the mouth. Okay, so that's what we have there so far. I just think it's so cute. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and let me grab my hot glue gun. Let me set this candle to the side. We'll go ahead and get started on working on this one. So I will grab my material here for my scarf and you can use any sort of fabric, felt, whatever you may have on hand. And I'm just going to, right below the mouth, I'm going to tie this on. Nice and tight. Oh, <laughs> there he is there. And then I am going to take a few pieces of greenery and just add those right below the scarf just to give it a little bit of extra, a little something there underneath. Let me lay this down. Let's see, let me loosen that up a little bit so I can stick it underneath there. So I put it in there and then I was gonna try to tuck it where you don't see the end piece of the greenery. And then I was gonna add some glow all. Oh, okay. I'm also going to add my white chalk paint. I forgot about for the eyes. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of dab right there at the bottom part. All right, and let me put, place some glue up underneath here. And then for this project, I forgot to grab my little finger protectors. I'm gonna hope for the best with this one. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, he's so cute. The glue is still a little bit wet here, but let me show you what I have there. Oh, he's so stinking cute. So let me go ahead and make the second one. So since this one has the blue and white plaid scarf there, I'm going to say this is the boy. So I'm going to set him to the side and then just go ahead here with the next one. I want to make sure that I line it up about the same. So trying to make sure that my eyes are right about the same placing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead with my nose. And then my mouth. There's our second one there. I just think these are just so cute. And I think sitting and uh, having them sit up and even if you wanted to uh, light them, I just think that they would be so cute sitting up together. Or you could just make one, you know, just one single one. All right, I'm gonna leave that a little bit, a little, a little, I'm going to leave this a little bit loose so that I can go ahead and put my greenery in here as well. And you don't have to use greenery. I just thought it'd be cute just to add a little extra touch to it uh, besides just the plain old, uh, just, the, just the plain fabric. So I'm just gonna tuck it right underneath the scarf. It keeps wanting to slide out. All right, that's what we have so far, but I am going to fix it because you can see where this greenery is poking out there. I could cut it down, but I'm just going to go ahead and and uh, just tuck it better. So, all right, so I'm gonna add some glue here underneath, right underneath here. Oh, I think these turned out so cute. All right, so there we go. There's both of our snowmen there. You see how easy that was? Let me bring them in closer. So as you see, I just basically just uh, drew on the eyes with a Sharpie. 
I had a chalk marker that I added for the whites of the pupils. And then I added the carrot nose and the mouth there with a piece of fabric and a piece of uh, some, some pieces of, whoop, we have a string hanging. Okay, we'll have to cut that off. Uh, and the pieces of granary. So I just think these turned out so nicely. I'm so happy with them. So I, uh, I hope that if you're looking for a simple DIY that you'll try this as well and, and you can make it your own and you can, you know, decorate them however you want to. So let's go ahead and sit these back over here to the side. <laughs> okay, so there's those. And I think, okay, so we're good. Our first layer of paint is already dry on our salt and pepper shaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more layer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and go ahead and add a second layer of paint. Once they are dry, then we'll get to decorating these as well. So now our salt and pepper shakers are nice and dry. I did cut some pieces of burlap so I am going to add those right underneath the tops of the salt and pepper shakers. That piece came off of there. So I am going to add it like that there. I'm just gonna tie it right on there. And then I'll do the same with the second one here. Okay, so now I have my burlap on there and I'm going to go ahead and draw the face. All right, so I went ahead and I have the eyes on each of these. Let me turn that around, there you go. And so I have the eyes drawn and so now I'm going to take a piece of felt, which uh, I had a little small piece of felt here and I've cut the pieces that they would be the shape of a carrot. You could draw it on there. Uh, I wanted a little bit of extra dimension so I'm just going to just go ahead and add my felt piece for the nose and then draw on the mouth. Oh, this is turning out so cute already. All right, let me go ahead and draw on the mouth. Oh, these would be so cute to either, you could either sit them up by themselves or you can you could use salt and pepper shaker in them because like I said, I'm painting the outsides. So I am going to actually use them for salt and pepper, but you, know, you could do it either way. They would even be cute in a, in a, a tiered tray. Okay, so let me turn those around. Oh, I just really like the way these turned out. And again, as you see, they're very simple DIYs. Uh, there's not a lot of money into either of these projects. And uh, so I just wanted to bring something very simple that y'all could do and make it your own. Make it, you know, however you want to. Like I said, you could use different types of felt, fabric, or what have you. Draw the faces on there. Uh, but uh, I really like how these turned out. So, uh, I think after the, this video, I have, let's see, uh, I think I have a couple more snowman videos uh, on their way as well after this, and, uh, and then we'll get into uh, possibly some, some other DIYs besides snowmen. So, um, I just wanted to bring this to y'all, and uh, it was a very simple and easy craft, so... 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up because it does help my channel out. Along with, if you're stopping by for the first time and you're interested, please hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell as well so that YouTube will notify you when I have a new upload. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. Bye.